Uh, hi, I'm Mike Lavin, the CEO of the Currency Cloud. Uh, on the keyboard is Naz Zubari, who is our head of marketing. Uh, Currency Cloud is uh, based in London, and we have a uh, currency platform for making international payments. Uh, could we, could we uh, get the demo up, please? Uh, very, very important, and you've heard a lot of um, uh, 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 firms this morning and yesterday. Um, we are not in the consumer payments business. Uh, we're a platform with an API, and we enable a whole range of businesses to make, uh, to make business payments within their own business application. Um, our vision, and for those of you out there who have a business, know how difficult it is to make a simple business payment. And one of the distinctions in the business market is payments generate inside uh, an, another application. So the, the, the business world has a very, very different problem to solve than the problem of, uh, of a consumer payment. Uh, you know, you, you get a euro invoice, you get out your calculator, you get your memo pad, you go to the XE site, you get a rate, you enter it separately. So we're trying to solve a, pro a business payment problem that has to do with the API and integration. Uh, we also have a view on, on currency rates. I think that we, we've heard um, from many people doing really great work bringing prices down. Uh, in the capital markets, if you're a hedge fund, you spend a dollar to trade a $50 million to euro transaction. We believe that those kinds of rates will be ubiquitous. So the issue is not about rates. Rates are coming down and ourselves <clears throat> and every other firm that you see here are going to push those rates down. The issue is actually about access. Today we're showing you two apps uh, that we've worked on uh, the that integrate uh, multinational payments into business apps, one in Salesforce and one in uh, Sage. Naz, could we have the dashboard, please? Uh, Salesforce CRM system, if you go to the App Store, you'll see there are a large number of invoice management systems, and that makes a lot of sense because invoice management is about customer data. So you have your customer data inside uh, Salesforce, and what you really want to do is to be able to affect your multinational payment outside of that. Um, we've built an invoice management app using one of our partners that's totally multinational enabled. It's delivered over the Salesforce cloud. It has Salesforce look and feel. It has Salesforce permissions. It has Salesforce workflow. And, uh, and, it, and it fits with the way that we see the world, that what you really want to do is when you're managing your invoices, you want to be indifferent between domestic and international. Naz, could you select the, uh, the French wines invoice, please? All right, so um, this is a, a, a pay invoice screen, and uh, it's connected real time to, to the currency cloud. And effectively, what we've done is taken a domestic invoice screen and internationalized it inside Salesforce. The kinds of fields that are there now that didn't used to be there have to do with uh, the currencies itself, with um, uh, the, the, the ability to, to store the multi-currency payments. Now, if you could hit make payment. All right, so when you hit make payment, um, it's going out and making a real-time call from within the app to the currency cloud and uh, bringing back the rate. And maybe if we could accept and pay, and I'll just talk about this on the next screen. Uh, it's basically br brought you back a quote from the currency cloud in real time. And, and, and one of the things that's incredibly important to understand about payments is payments are really boring. I mean, who likes to make a payment, right? A payment is a secondary activity. The activity is actually buying the good or servicing the good. Payments should be boring. And the objective of payment systems should be to take steps out of payments rather than to put steps in. So what we've done is in the value chain of payments for foreign currency, we've taken a whole series of steps out. Um, Naz, if you could just um, go to the, uh, and this is the confirmation screen, right? So if we go to the next screen. That is, yeah, yeah, if we could go to the app exchange screen. Please. All right, so uh, the app, the, the Salesforce app will be available in the Salesforce app exchange and downloadable for free. Um, and if you were to look at the app exchange now, you would see a series of other invoice management apps there. And we're in the process of working with other uh, app developers in the Salesforce world to enable their apps to also handle multi-currency um, in a way that they don't now, so that domestic and multinational come together. Uh, if we go to the Sage screen. 
Um, additionally, um, we're not going to go through the demo now, but the workflow and the understanding and the discussion is very much the same. We have a similar app um, for Sage in Sage 50 Professional, if you want to get down to um, uh, segment it, which we've done, uh, again, with another Sage, Sage partner. And again, the, the idea is the same, is, is that in your small business accounting system, you want to be seamless in the way that you treat a multinational or an international payment and a local payment. And we are also, uh, if you are a Sage developer or a user of Sage, uh, we're also looking to talk to you about working with us in enabling more apps to be international. Uh, the key to the currency cloud is that we're a fully open API um, and a full platform. Um, in fact, you can go to the website now and sign up. And let me just show you um, our badge. The, uh, the currency cloud badge, which is on the sites of a series of firms who work with us, um, is a badge that shows that it's trusted in terms of exchange rates, that the rates are fair and transparent, and work through us. Uh, I think we, there was one that we just showed you at Sofort Bank. Uh, this one is a site in Spain, uh, the leader. And I think we have a third one, which is FX Match, which is a firm in uh, Edinburgh that services Scottish farmers. So uh, we did $100 million of payments in January. Uh, we did about a billion dollars of payments on our platform in 2012. We should do about three to four billion dollars this year. 200 currencies, 120 countries. Uh, no, 100, 200 currencies, 120 countries, um, connected to 10 banks. And uh, come and see us if you are an application that need to be enabled, a bank that are looking for a system to work with, or a developer who's looking to develop apps in the multi-currency world. Thanks a lot.